What's going on, everybody? My name is Jabes, and welcome to episode seven of my Path to Power. Just picked up a Leonardo right there. Don't even know what the price was, but we're way, way down in coins now to a whopping 1,830-something. Uh, but we get Leonardo in a bunch of uh, morale cards that we picked up along the way and play one on there. Picked all those morale cards up for 150. I could sell them on for 250, 300, but I'm not too bothered about that. Now we've got our Bruce Silver team up and ready to go. Time to go ahead and swoop in to that silver tournament and see what kind of damage that we can do. I uh, got Wellington Silva up front, as you guys know. I am a big fan of his, but this guy has a quality uh, Mexican side, and Mexican silvers are great. Marcos Asensio, uh, one of the best silver, if not the best silver penalty kick taker, or excuse me, well, penalty and free kick takers in FIFA Ultimate Team. Uh, brilliant little curve free kick from him right there, right around the wall. Uh, but Wellington Silva going to do some damage here, going a nice little skilled run. Um, Beats one, beats another, and that's an easy finish from that point forward. Slots it tidily into the far post uh, after some nice, nice skill work. Love having my five-star skillers out on the pitch, uh, but this is a great little team sequence here. Uh, Guillermo San uh, Santos just all the way up the field, or all the way up the pitch, um, breaking free, gets uh, beats one last guy here, and then plays a brilliant triple tap cross, and Wellington Silva, great movement to the near post, slots it easily right by the goalkeeper, just takes it around him really gently. I love scoring goals like that. Um, I think I'm going to try to show if I have any nice kind of like team-esque build-up goals in this series. I think I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys kind of the like one-two passing uh, that goes into play moving forward. But he just beasts on me all sorts of all over the place with Carlos Vela right there. In the 84th minute, he just strikes it well with his right foot. Um, Carlos Vela is an incredible silver is my understanding. I've only used his um, his inform card, but some more dirty talk and work there from Wellington Silva and a bit on lucky not to get that but Marcos Ashen Sal only two star skills I believe but the step over is all day easy finesse shot right there step over is going the opposite way from the in cut finesse shot will will work period like if every time that you go line in that sort of sequence they will work uh, and Leonardo one more time what a finesse shot from the Austrian Bundesliga uh, winger um, he's got four star skills high pace he's I think I paid 6,000 coins for him which is kind of expensive um, for a four star skilled uh, right wing for a silver but the steps up are obviously Dan Alinho and Mike Onlete who I would love to get for this team I have him on my other account I've got to say he's probably one of my favorite players that I've played with um, but this guy actually turns out to be a pretty decent player um and it deflects off of my player right there, right over the keeper. It still gives Miku the goal. Um, I thought it might have been a chip. I watched the replay a bunch of times, and it definitely deflected off my player. It catches me not paying attention right there uh, and scores a corner. And that's actually how that game would end. So we drop another one. Got to say it's frustrating, but I believe that I've got a good silver team and figured out what was wrong with my side. Uh, and we insert uh, Polino and Serginho and Karrison. So we change out the striker and the two outside side center mids um sold our other ones on uh which i guess i didn't show or maybe there's they're, they're probably chilling in the trade pile is what i imagine is happening um but we come up against this guy five at the back and not to worry wellington silva nice work plays in Carrison right there love him as a striker on this game it's too bad that you can't seal dribble because i'm sure he'd be a pro uh but nice work here marcos ashton sow quite a goal scorer in the midfield for us right there beautifully placed finesse shot right by the goalkeeper i gotta say his keeper looked like he might not have the most stellar chemistry not being able to save that stuff wellington silva again breaking free over the top what a finesse shot he's got on him 69 rated yeah right uh he's far far better plays way way above that rating um and he's worth every penny but then again there's Carrison. look at this for a finish oh the messy esque chip as the on rushing keeper comes out after him love that animation i wish i got to score more air goals like that more often but here's another team goal uh just a real quick passing that's you know sometimes we can get into play and it just ends up looking all sorts of nice and i don't mind scoring a goal like that after uh after a nice little passing build up i was obviously a little frustrated from dropping a game before but that does happen nobody really likes to lose um we all prefer winning again uh Guerron, he's um he's got a 
quite a bit of pace on him, but he only has three-star skills, uh, and this guy's had enough down. I believe it was 5-0, maybe 6-0 at this point, um, but he's actually a pretty good player. I picked him up for like five or 600 coins, uh, and I'd say he's worth it so far. Um, at this point, I remember I was thinking about selling Leonardo, like, ah, do I really need him? He's, you know, because Guaran was tearing it up for me, uh, but I decided to keep him. This guy switching from a five-back, now we're playing against a three-back. Um, got a German theme, though, going on here. Again, some nice teamwork here puts Wellington Silva in and that finesse shot is just so clinical from him uh, cutting in from the left side he's calling mom he's letting her know that he scored a wonderful goal uh, but that is how that one ended 1-0 very very simple um, and we go out and what are we doing here we're picking up a squad fitness card um, maybe not the best use of coins probably could have gone for swapping some players out and uh you know using my substitutes but i am adamant about winning this tournament at this point and it must happen and to do that you know i figure i got everybody now at full fitness that means i get the is this the i don't know this might be the semi-final uh so i've got my entire team set for the semi-final and then we're moving on to the final this guy has a generally very very nice brass silver team uh solid defenders in tiago heleno and uh um, Manuel, but uh, Karrison ninth minute breaks free right there, and he's so good in front of goal. If you're looking for a value, a value buy in terms for your Br Silver squad, um, Karrison's your man. Uh, again, Guaron impressing me with just his position. Karrison plays a nice goal or plays a nice pass, and we are in it to win it. That's why we're taking those goals. Um, feeds Wellington Silva in right there. I believe that was Paulinho feeding him in um, off a sloppy turnover from him right there. But this uh, this squad's turning out to be pretty well. I'll have at least one more gameplay for you guys in the next episode, which I will try to upload on Saturday as well. So we'll have uh, that, and I think I'm going to try to do some trading tomorrow. So hopefully that'll work out well, and maybe we can get a baby power hour in with the coins that we may or may not have from uh, you know from the way this goes. But Antonio Ferreira, just an absolute absolute beast uh skies above and scores a wonderful little goal right there and that's how this one would end so we're moving on to the finals take that one four two uh he scored two goals with and nino i don't even know if i showed both of them i might have missed that but it's gonna get uploaded anyway um appreciate you guys supporting me in this endeavor and stay in tune for all of my videos stoppage time was great yesterday for those of you that tuned in you got to see my face but anyways guys this is japes and i will catch you all next time